In defaults, you can change many of the basic settings that your console uses. It is worth it while visiting and revisiting the window during programming to reduce the amount of time you spend making repetitive changes. Even if most of the defaults are self-explanatory, here is a quick overview. Basic fade is the default time that your cues will be stored with. Basic outfade is the time given to dimmer values going down in a stored queue. You may enter a number or opt to make it the same time as the infade time. Snap delay is the time that elapses after Go has been pressed before snap parameters, Go wheels, color wheels, etc. change. Trigger, Go, Follow, Sound or a specific length of time can be all used as triggers for a queue. Dual value or single value entry allows you to choose whether you type 5, 0 or 5 for the value 50. Add, add is a command to quickly set a fixture or channel to a predetermined level. The Add Level soft key allows you to set that level. The program fade is the time that executors turn off when using the off command. Go to and go to minus is the time that go to and go minus take place in. MIB delay is the time between the dimmer level reaching 0% and the changing parameters starting the MIB. This can also be set on per fixture type basis in the fixture's personality. MIB fade is the time it takes for parameters changing as part of the MIB to take that change. Default is chaser, default is queue list, allows to choose what will be created automatically when store is pressed in combination with an executor hard key. Chase speed is the default chase speed for all newly created chasers. Chase fade is a percentage of time that parameters spend changing between the steps of a chase. Readout allows to choose between displaying BPM, Hertz or seconds for the speed of a chaser. Crossfade permanent and crossfade reload refer to how the manual crossfader behaves. With crossfade permanent, whenever the fader reaches the end of its travel, whether it is at the bottom or top, a new queue will be loaded into the fader, ready for manual execution. With crossfade reload, the next queue will only be loaded into the fader when it reaches the bottom of its travel. The sheet sorting section refers to the option the fixture sheet window, the channel sheet window and the fader sheet window used to sort their contents. Sheet font size allows separate font size definition for the internal touchscreen displays and the external displays. Sheet readout defines whether values will be displayed as decimal values, percentage values, percentage plus values or hexadecimal values. For more explanation on viewing data, check basic concepts for newcomers. The blackout soft key determines how the blackout hard key above the grandmaster behaves. Push will execute a blackout only as long as the hard key is pressed. Toggle will execute a blackout as soon as it is pressed and will require the second press of the hard key to return to normal operation. The last option is to disable the blackout hard key. Master Enabled Disabled allows you to disable or enable the Grand Master Fader. Keyboard allows you to define the language of the text keyboard that is attached to the console. Keyboard 0 dot, dot 0 allows you to change the layout of the 0 hard key and the dot hard key on the numeric keypad. Preset Colors allows you to change the color scheme of the preset windows. The trackball option soft key is the only of interest to users of the full size Grand MA. It defines how the trackball hard key changes the function of the trackball. Returning to the setup window, time and date allows the setting of the internal clock and calendar. Additional information as daylight savings time and the console's location using longitude and latitude enable the console to predict sunrise and sunset. These options are only of interest if used for triggering cues by time of day. Display Languages switches between the implemented languages. Note that changing the console's language will cause it to reboot. Oops is the console's 20-step undo command. It is accessed by pressing the Oops hard key. This option is not available on the GrandMA Micro. The Oops settings define exactly what the Oops will do. Oops can be set to undo general commands such as store or to undo changes in your views. Also, it can be used to undo actions made while programming the console. 
Because of having a limited number of steps OOPS can be used for, those options have to be chosen carefully. For example, being able to return a fixture to a previous position after you have accidentally moved it might be nice, but being able to undo a wrongly stored queue may be much more important. Only having the general option on will protect you from one major mistake while programmer option will protect you from smaller, but less serious mistakes. If you are using the console in an environment with a lot of low frequency vibrations at high volume, it is very important that you switch off all the OOPS options. This prevents the console from accessing the hard drive during a show. Low frequency vibrations at high volumes can interfere with the normal functioning of a hard drive and may cause your console to temporarily stop responding. The screensaver soft key allows you to determine how long it takes from the built-in Granime screensaver to activate. The Update Software option allows to update the console's operating software via floppy disk or from another Granime console.